Uh, to start, could you take us back to the beginning? How did you discover your passion for storytelling? Oh, yeah, I, I got into um, I got into acting relatively late in the game. Um, I'm, I'm 25, turning 26, but I only started acting when I was really 18. Um, and I did a play in my final year of high school. And at that play, there was a casting, an extras casting director who then like was like, oh, you know, you'd be great doing some extras work. Plus, I was like one of only like a handful of tall Asians on the Gold Coast. <laughs> so she was like, oh, yeah, perfect. Like go and do all of the extras stuff and or whatever. And I was like, cool, this is a great way to earn money. Um, but then like once I felt like I s stepped onto a film set, I went, OK, like this is kind of where I want to be. Um, and then for the rest of my time before I got into drama school, which was like a year, two years, uh, like roughly two years, um, I was just doing acting classes, um, like with my coach and finally got into drama school. Um, but yeah, like I didn't, I really fell into it in a sense of like, I randomly just did a play cause it was my final year of high school and I was like, ah, oh, screw it. I'll go and do it. And then and ended up really loving it. Mm. And now mm. you're on a Netflix show, you know, in addition <laughs> to acting, yep. you're, you're also a producer and director. How have your experiences behind the camera impacted the way that you approach your work on screen and vice versa? Mm, nice. I really like that question. Because I feel like um, for me personally, the journey, like trying to parallel, of course, my acting has gone a lot further than my directing and producing, uh, just in terms of like my uh, public presence, mm -hmm. I guess. But for me, acting is very centralized on character and, and individual, whereas I really enjoy the like directorial aspect of zooming out and looking at someone's entire life or yeah. like the entire um, area in which they're in. And that has also really, really helped my acting, of course, because it gives a more holistic view of like, okay, why are they choosing this shot? Like, why are they, you know, wh why are they lighting it this way? Or, mm. you know, why is it so essential that this scene, I have to hit this line or have to hit this angle? Um, and, like, that is just invaluable help as an actor and, like, the other way, of course, knowing how to manage those, uh, I guess, like, expectations and mm. those kind of things you have to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, you know, great answer. And you're one of the stars of Exo Kitty. And Alex is a character who hits very close to home for you. When you're playing a character who you share so many similarities with, is that more or less challenging for you as an actor? That's another good question. Um, I think, look, it, it's like one of the, in, in the show, I confront my birth parents. Yeah. And there's a conversation that I have with, um, with Gina on screen and then Professor Lee off screen. And I think that parallels my actual life. Not that I've done that yet, but I've kind of had dreams of mm. that happening um, because I'm an adopted Korean, of course, yeah. for those who don't know. Um, I'm adopted by two Australian um, parents. And so especially when... Alex gets rejected by Professor Lee halfway through the series. There's there's something inside me that has always been like, yes, I want to find my parents, but also deathly afraid that if I do find them, it will be rejection. Mm -hmm. And that fear of that rejection has, has always kind of constricted me to like go and fly over there to go and search for her. Of course, I've done most of the things that I can online, yeah. But, you know, the problem is, is that I was only given a first name. Like my last name, um, Kim, isn't probably my real last name. Um, as well as like, she didn't leave any notes. She didn't leave anything. It's just, I was basically a doorstep baby. Doing that in the show and bringing those emotions onto a screen and onto a platform, it was difficult in a very different way than I'm used to. Usually I'm struggling to find character and really struggling to go deeper, but it was trying to go to a place which was safe and mm. not an open wound that could be yeah. like picked at. Does that make sense? Yeah. You were able and to bring so, that vulnerability. Yeah. 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 And so it definitely was an interesting challenge for me, um, especially since I've done a lot of theater as well to 
have scenes that I can actually foresee me happening, foresee myself mm. in, in the future. You know, and Alex and Kitty are able to bond over the fact that they're both two fishes out of water and they have quite the journey throughout the series. What was it like getting to collaborate with Anna as you brought that dynamic to life? Oh, it was so much fun. I, we became really, really good friends. Um, and I think the dynamic between us off screen really helped it on screen as well. Yeah. Um, it's just, it really felt like that big brother, little sister kind of thing. And Anna is, is, you know, she's such an experienced actor. And even though she's only 19, she just brought this maturity to set. She brought this, um, like she brought choices that were really interesting and fun to play off of mm. as an actor. But, also just because we were both in Korea and I hadn't been to Korea in a very long time and she'd only been there kind of like briefly, I guess, for, to all the boys. It was also exploring Korea together and having that as an, as a shared experience, which again, we could bring onto screen. So it was kind of a combination of us getting to know each other as well as being able to explore an environment, which both of us weren't aware of at the time. Yeah. And, you know, you were less familiar with the To All the Boys franchise before signing on to this project. Did that kind of alleviate some of the pressure knowing how big this franchise is? And now that the series is out, have you been able to see kind of the social media response to your character and what, the, what it means to everybody? Yeah, I just, I was really shocked um, that To All the Boys was so big. Like I'd heard of it before, but I'd never watched it. Um, and so when the audition kind of came across, it was like Exo Kitty, like a spinoff of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I didn't really think too much of it. Um, mm -hmm. It was just another role that came across my desk. And seeing the response now from the fans, um, from like just even like Instagram and um, all of those like social media platforms, yeah. it's just, it's nuts. Like I just, I could not have expected it all. I, I just, I feel like it's a blessing to, to have happened. Yeah, and one of the episodes, the students and the faculty celebrate the Korean equivalent of Thanksgiving and it honor the past and the future. Who are the people in your own life who shape the storyteller that you are today? Of course, the obvious answer is like friends and family. I think my family has been a combination of supportive and not supportive like they weren't mm. very supportive at the beginning when I wanted to go on this acting journey but now that I've kind of cemented myself in this industry they're really yeah. like they're really really supportive um I'd actually have to say my my friends that I went through drama school with at the Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts they were great in helping me foster that as well as a lot of directors that went through there and then most of all my acting coach my first acting coach that I actually still work with um his name's Gareth Harris he is he just like question the I love questioning and digging mm. that is that is my favorite part of a character yeah. justifying whatever they're going through and then being able to portray that in a way that you might not expect and he just is he just says that in such a beautiful way that I can't not love it. And plus he was the first person to really believe in me to be like, no, 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 you can do this. Like, you know, you're Asian on the Gold Coast. Yes, you're a minority, but that's going to be your strength. Yeah. And that, again, that sentiment was then echoed by my managers, um, Stephen and James, exactly the same thing. They believed in me from day one. As soon as I had that meeting with them, they were like, you're going to like, we're going to make this work. Mm. And so I have to thank those three people because without them I, I'd be nowhere. And you're such a standout. Is there a particular scene that you were really excited for audiences to see? Um, There's two scenes that come to mind. I really love the scene in the night market with Kitty um, when I kind of save her from the hospital and we're walking and weaving through um, the, the streets of Seoul. I mean that was phenomenal to film it seriously felt like a massive movie set did not feel like television at all um and that's like just the way that it was shot uh jeff the way he directed it also getting to talk with anna uh, like a little bit more on that trip was great because it wasn't actually in seoul it was shot, shot in sejong i think mm. um and then the second scene was the is the scene with gina in episode nine 
um, when I kind of admit that I'm her son. Uh, and that that scene is is great. I've just Yoon Jin is is such a phenomenal actor. I mean, yeah, like I I had to stop myself from crying multiple times because her delivery was just mm. heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, and so those are probably the two that come to mind. Yeah, that scene of Yoon is really 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 well done. And you know, um, the series ends with things very open ended. Have there been earlier conversations about that? about a potential season two if we're lucky enough to get a season two what, what else do you want to explore with Alex yeah I mean of course we're super happy with what we've got in season one um and we're like kind of we don't know if there's going to be season two like most shows these days um but if you mm. know I was given the opportunity I would of course expand that relationship that Alex has with Yuri um because they have they didn't interact almost at all throughout yeah. the entire first season and i think it would be an interesting dynamic like they're quite different people alex is very goofy and um kind of doesn't know where his head is at most of the time um and yuri seems to know what she wants but is torn between two things um but also like i just see so many funny scenes with alex and professor lee like mm. I really, I really <laughs> want to have a scene where Alex is like trying to teach Professor Lee like how to play cricket or something. Like I just think that would be so funny, or just something ridiculously stupid like that. So hopefully we can tackle a few more things um, if we do get a season two. But for now we're super happy with season one. Yeah, and I think Alex will be able to show a different side to, to Professor Lee as well. And you know, this is such an exciting time in your career. As you look ahead, is there a dream role that you would love to bring to life, either in front of or behind the camera? Oh uh, man, I this is the hardest question for me because I don't I only know like the role that I want when it comes across, like when I can see it, mm. like when I read a script and I go, wow, like I want to play this or I read a book or something. Um, most of the things that I want to, my dream roles at the moment are shows that I want to create. Um, like I'm just um, kind of early development stages of this uh, kind of dark comedy series. Um, also kind of centralizing around a, a Korean adoptive, um, two Korean adoptive uh, siblings and like to me, that is a dream role because not only am I inhabiting a different character that's similar to me, but it's also like I get to create the story and I get to kind of work collaboratively with a whole bunch of other people to make that happen. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say I have like one. There's not like I don't go. Oh, like I want to play Spider Man or like oh I want to be in uh, Game of Thrones or something. Yeah. Although, although now I mention it, a big sci fi <laughs> would be nice. Actually, <laughs> like yeah a sci-fi i mean like an, a sci-fi epic would be fun like yeah. but i don't know what role yeah. that would entail yeah.